Hi, everyone. I am here today to show you what I think is a little bit of a hacky way to create an R Markdown website, but it worked really well for what I needed. Um, so I am going to share my screen and we'll get started. So first of all, what I have is I have this folder full of R Markdown and HTML files that um, I want to put on a website and, um, I've created an R Markdown website before. I've also created distill websites, but I think, um, I've already done this. So, um, I'm just going to show you what I did and hopefully it'll help you. I think for me, it was the easiest way to stay organized and just use, um, content that I already have. Um, so the first thing I wanna show you is um, I do have this R Markdown website template. Um, I'll put this somewhere so you can find it. Um, so if you wanna fork that or uh, download that, you could use that. I'm just gonna kind of be referencing it and I'm gonna just make everything on the fly here. Um, so, um, actually, I guess the first thing I'm going to do is go back out to GitHub. And I always like to start by creating a new repository. Um, oh man, I'm bad at making names. So this is a R Markdown quick site, quick site that works. And there's my description and I will um, add a readme file and I'll choose a license. I'm just really trying to see how quickly I can do this. Um, okay, now that it is on GitHub with really nothing there, I'm going to copy that and jump over to our studio and create a new project. And I am going to put this um, on my desktop in hopes that I remember, but will probably forget to delete it. And the next thing I am going to do, wow, my internet is being super slow. Um, is I need a couple of folders in here. And where did I put that? Hold on a second here. Okay. I'm just going to kind of follow my outline for the folders that I have here. And I might even copy and paste some things, which I'll try to show you. So um, one thing I know I'm going to need is something called underscore site. That is going to be really important for us to have as we build our website. And then I'm gonna make a folder called um, content. And this is where I'm gonna put all of my stuff. Um, let's see, what else do I need? Oh, I need my index file. So I need a new file, our markdown file. And it doesn't really matter what stuff I put in here. Um, but the important thing is that um, when I save this file, and, and I'm just going to go ahead and steal some words from myself. This is going to be a really boring document. Sorry, I'm copying and pasting some things just so I have some words on here. And then this file I'm going to save as index.rmd. Okay, it must be named index.rmd. This is our main page. Um, and then the other file I need is a YAML file. So I'm gonna just do file, new file. I don't think YAML is an option in here that I know of. So I always just do a text file. And I guess I don't need to hide this from you. Um, I'm gonna... Um, go to my um, underscore site.yaml file that I have out here. And I'm just gonna paste that in here for now. Now you're gonna notice that um, this has something um, 
In here, I'm referencing a file called content.html. So we're also going to create a file called content.rmd. And this content.html is the knitted version of that file. Now, this file I need to save as underscore site.yaml. And it has to be called exactly that. This is in my main directory. Um, so let's now create that um, content file. Uh, that is going to be an R Markdown file. And I'm just going to use this default thing. And I'm actually going to go back um, here. And again, I'm just going to steal some, um, you know, rather boring words for myself. So this content.rmd file. Um, we can look at some of these words in a second. Okay, and this is where I'm going to link. Notice this is looking in that content folder, which I don't have anything in there yet. Um, but this is where I could move some files. So just for fun, um, I am going to actually grab a couple other files. Actually, here, I guess I can show you this. This is for my intro stat class. Um, so I'm just going to copy these files and let's see. Oh, great. I, you get to see my really messy computer. R Markdown. R Markdown. There we go. So I'm going to put those files into this content folder. There they are. And you see them in here now. And then this file, um, actually, I'll name that in a second. But now, um, actually, let's, sorry, I'm going to save this as, um, so this is my um, content.rmd file. I do not need to knit this file. This is going to be automatically knitted for me or rendered when I uh, build my website. Um, but what now what I want to do is I want to get these files I want to reference, which are these two files. So first, I need to knit these files. Oh, and I'm going to have a mistake because I'm just remembering I have, I think I have an image in here, of course that I didn't think of. Let's just get rid of that and try again. I think that was the only image in there, although I kind of forget. OK, so um, this is one thing. Um, I will need to uh, knit this file on my own. It will not be knitted for me. Um, so knit that file that's in the content folder. And then I'm going to do the same thing. OK, I did have that picture in here as well. Hopefully, that was the only pictures. So I need to knit both of these files automatically because I'm putting them in a folder. Um, you can, I'm not going to go into details about that. OK, so now that those files are knitted, now I can go back to my content file. And I'm now going to link to this um, HTML file and this other HTML file. And I'll just get rid of this. OK, and I will save that. OK, now we want to actually build our website. I think I've done everything right, although I am going really fast. Now, there isn't a build tab here, and I like to do it that way because I'm lazy. Um, so to get that to show up, I'm just going to close my project really quick. And then if I reopen the project, I should get a build tab. Otherwise, I've done something wrong. Yay, there it is. So now that the build tab is here, I am going to build my website. And the website is here. And I can link to this file. 
Um, oops, let's open that in the browser so it's a little bit nicer to look at. Um, I can link to that file and I can link back to this file. Um, so for me, this was just a super quick way to get my materials online. Um, there's much better ways to do this, but when you need something fast, um, I think this is a great option. Um, you'll notice that the CSS formatting does not follow through to these files. And again, for what I need right now, that's fine. Um, so uh, the other nice thing is if I wanted to at this point, I like using Netlify. Um, I could come out here and log in. And log in. And I can just deploy this. Oh, actually, before I do that, we'll, we'll let Netlify think for a second. And while it's thinking, I'm going to come out here to Git. Um, let's see, I don't need that. Oops. Um, I do need, um, oh, I don't need to put my project out there. Oops. Um, okay, hold on a second here. Oops, not that one. There we go. Do I have everything checked? Okay, I'm going to commit this. Okay, and I'm going to close and push all that out there. Hopefully that won't take too long. Maybe we'll let that work. While that's going, I'm going to go over to Netlify and I'm going to do a new site from Git, GitHub. And I do not know what, what is going on. Oh, there we go. And this is called our Markdown Quick Site. Okay, it found that. The computer is really being quite slow. Um, okay, publish directory. I think this is the site. Yep, so this is where I need to put underscore site. And I think if I just click deploy site, now um, it's actually not going to find anything yet because everything's still pushing out there. So as soon as this pushes, which apparently is taking a while, I guess maybe that first push had a lot of stuff in it. Or my internet is slow. So right now it says it failed and that's because there's not an underscore site folder out there yet, which is what it's looking for. So hopefully this will push in a reasonable amount of time. It's really super fun to watch this. Um, I guess while this is going, maybe a couple of things I'll mention are, um, again, this is, this is probably not, um, well, um, maybe what I'll say is um, when I built this site originally, um, I essentially had a different tab for each, um, link to an HTML file, all of my R Markdown files were in the main project directory um, rather than being, so they were all, um, instead of being in this content folder, all those R Markdown files were out here. And doing it that way, um, every time you build the site, it will uh, knit those RMD files or knit them to an HTML file and they'll go into that site folder, um, which is has good sides and bad sides, I guess. Um, but for me, it would take, you know, maybe five minutes to knit all of those files. And most of the time, I just needed to update one of them. Um, 
So this was sort of my solution so that I didn't have to go through those every time. Oh, I think it finished. Um, so in doing that, um, that means I have to go and knit these files, um, re-knit them anytime I want to update the content. So that's just something I have to uh, remember to do on my own. So, you know, again, I guess there's uh, goods and bads there. Um, so let's see. <coughs> um, Let's see. Um, I've never pressed that button before. I'm not exactly sure if that did the right thing. Um, I should have done, okay, good. So I, sh I should have done this piece and after I pushed everything out there, but um, now uh, my site is out here and I can uh, go look at everything and my students will just be so thrilled. I can share this website um, and I could go back, of course, I shouldn't say of course, I could go back and wherever it is, somewhere in here, I can, there we go. I can um, edit site name, which I'm not gonna do right now because this is just an example, but um, I can edit this, save it. Um, and then I have this website to share with anyone I'd wanna share it with. Um, so hopefully you found that helpful. Um, I'm gonna stop sharing and I will say goodbye. Thanks.